something in 2 Samuel 6 chapter. 2 Samuel 6 chapter. Verse 10. And then we'll look at Matthew, the 21st chapter. So David would not move the ark of the Lord with him into the city of David. David took it aside into the house of Obed-Edom, the Gittite. Now it was, and the ark of the Lord remained in the house of Obed-Edom, the Gittite, three months. The Lord blessed Obed-Edom and all his household. He told David, saying, the Lord has blessed the house of Obed-Edom. And all the belongs because of the ark of God. So David went and brought up the ark of the God from the house of Obed-Edom to the city of David with gladness. So it was then when the man of the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, they did sacrifice oxen and fatted sheep. Then David danced before the Lord with all of his might, and David was wearing a leaden linen ephod. Come on, say so he was in his underwear. Uh, so linen. Ephod. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord was shouting with the sound of the trumpet. And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Michal saw David look through a window and saw David leaping and twirling before the Lord, and she despised him in her heart. They brought the ark of the Lord and set it in place in the midst of the tabernacle that David had erected. Then David offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. And when David had finished offering, burnt off a peace off, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of hosts. Then he distributed all among all the people, the, among the multitude of hills, of both the women and men, to everyone a loaf of bread, a piece of meat, and a cake of raisins, that all the people departed to his house. Then they returned to bless his household. And Michal, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David, said, How glorious was the king of David today, uncovered himself today in the eyes of the maids of his servants, as one of those base fellows shamelessly uncovers himself. So David said to Michal, it was before the Lord who chose me instead of your father and all his house to appoint me ruler over the people of Israel, over the Lord of Israel. Therefore, I will play music before the Lord. And if I become even more undignified, say undignified, undignified. than this, then I will humble in my own sight. But as for the maid servant whom you have spoken, by them I will be in honor. Therefore, Michal, the daughter of Saul, had no children to the day of her death. Go to, go to uh, Matthew 21, and we'll read that, and then we'll talk. Matthew 21. Matthew 21, verse 7. Verse 20, Matthew 21, verse 7. And they brought the donkey and the coat, and laid their clothes on them, and set him on them. This great multitude spread their clothes on the road. The others cut down branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Then the multitudes went out before, and those who followed cried out, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when they came to Jerusalem, the city was moved, saying, Who is this? So the multitudes said, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth. Of Galilee. If you looked at the Luke, and Luke told you the same chapter, same um, uh, uh, scripture. When they, when they begin to hollow Zed in the highest, you know what? Know what the know what the, uh, the Pharisee says? The Pharisee says, "Look at verse in Luke uh, 19, uh, 19, verse thirty-nine. Verse thirty-nine. And some of the Pharisees said to him, "Teach to rebuke your disciples." He said, "If I tell you, if these keep silent, the rocks." A crowd in their place. Say, I need, I need some undignified, undignified praise undignified. for the favor undignified. of God. Say, so I don't say, I don't mind, I don't mind. giving some undignified. Give some undignified. See, I, that's in the Bible. Say, undignified. Did we read that? Yeah. Undignified praise say, for the favor okay. of God. Because if I don't praise him, some praise. rocks, I'm a crowd. In my place. Amen. Come on, take a seat. Come on. Hey, man, it's Palm Sunday. And Palm Sunday, we celebrate the fact that it's the beginning we call Holy Week. And we talk about Jesus making a triumphant entry into Jerusalem. But before we even 
talk about that, I wanted to go back and look at the story of David and the Ark of Covenant. Do y'all know what's in the Ark of Covenant? Do you know what's in the Ark of Covenant? So the presence of God is in the Ark of the Covenant. And in the Ark of the Covenant is the presence of God. It was in the Holy of Holies. When we talk about bow down and worship him and enter in, it's telling you to enter into the Holy of Holiness. In the tabernacle back then, the way it was set up was in the outer court, anybody could come. Say outer court. Outer court. Anybody that wanted to come worship God or praise God could come to the outer court. But once you got into the inner court, you had to go there and you had to stop and wash your hand at the lake. Come on, say wash your hand. The Bible says by the washing of the word. Come on, say washing of the word. So I've been baptized. Say wash your hands. Cleanse your hands, your sinners. Pure by your heart, your double minded. Say wash your hands. And then you will come and you will find bread at the show table. You can eat the bread, which is the bread that represents the bread of life. And you will pass by the left stand, and the Bible says he's the light of the world. You're in the inner court. But only the priest can go into the Holy of Holies. And in the Holy of Holies was the Ark of the Covenant. And inside the Ark of the Covenant were three important items I want you to know about. The first thing was in the Ark of the Covenant, the Bible says, was the tablets of stone with the law of Moses. So the presence of God has the word of God in my life. How many got the word of God in your life? If I want favor in my life, I need the word of God in my life. You can't get God's favor without the word of God. You can't get the favor in, God in your life trying to watch Dr. Eyes on TV. That might give you some help, uh, advice, but that won't give you the favor of God. You're not going to get any favor of God in your life by watching the old channel. Come on. Oprah got a lot of good stuff, but that's not the favor, come on, of God. You can't get the favor of God through Dr. Phil, through Jay Leno, through uh, 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 Jimmy Fallon, uh, through any sportscaster, any comedian. I got to get the favor of God from the what? Word of God. Pastor, I'm not watching on TV. You can't get the favor of God by gossiping with your friends on the phone. You haven't got quiet on me. You can't get the favor of God by sitting around with your buddies at work and y'all talking, y'all shooting the breeze around the ice water. I know around the what the what they call it? Around the, uh, the, the water cooler. Come on, say the water cooler. Water cooler. Think ice water. Come on, say the water cooler. <laughs> so you can't get the favor of God around the water cooler. I gotta get the favor of God from the what? To so the word. Oh God. You can't get the favor of God from Reader's Digest. You can't get the favor of God from Ebony. You can't get the favor of God from Essence, not Jet. You can't get the favor of God from People's Magazine or uh, In Touch. I gotta get the favor of God from the Word. So the Word of God. Inside the Ark of the Covenant was the Word of God. Also inside the Ark of the Covenant was two golden pots filled with manna from heaven. You remember when the Bible says that the manna came there was a golden pot filled with manna, and not two, but just one golden pot filled with manna from heaven. And the Bible says the manna fell every day, and God says don't save no manna, because the worms are getting in it. Right. But there was one pot that God says put it in the golden pot, put it in the ark of the covenant, and that manna never went bad. Mm -hmm. Say, bread of heaven, bread of heaven, heaven. say, feed me till I want no more. No. That's why the Bible says, give us this day our daily, daily bread. Say, bread of heaven. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. If you eat of me, you'll never, come on, hunger again. Yes. Bread of heaven sent down from glory. That represented the manna that fell, represented that one day Christ was going to be the bread of the whole world. That if we take and eat of his body and of his flesh, we shall live and not die. Say, so in the ark of covenant. I don't care how many things you have materialistic in his life. I don't care how many things you have that you own, how much money you got in your pocket or in the bank account, or hiding up in your bed or anywhere, well, in your whatever you have in your wallet or your money clip or in your purse, or ladies, you hide in other places. I don't care where the money is, but if you ain't got the bread of heaven, say, I ain't got nothing. If I ain't got the bread of heaven, sit down from glory. Say, bread of heaven. Sit down from glory. I need Christ in my life. That's where the faith of God is. The faith is in the bread. Come on, say, in the Ark of Covenant. And the Ark of the Covenant had one more thing. It had the, uh, the rod that Aaron owned that budded. You know, we talked about this. We went down into him stay. We preached a sermon. This bud is for you. Come on, say, this bud is for you. It was a rod, a stick that budded. Come on. Brought forth fruit. Come on. Come on. The rod budded and brought forth fruit. That rod means the authority of God. Say the anointing of God in my life. 
inside the Ark of the Covenant, you had the Word, you had the bread, and you had the anointing. How I many want the anointing of God in your life? Yeah, yeah. Away when you talk about what the devil's going to do to you. Say, so I rose up this morning to do something to the devil. Yeah. Ah, I got up this morning, I can wreck his kingdom, and he wrecked God's kingdom. I got up this morning, I ain't talking about on a Sunday morning, on Tuesday morning, come on, on yeah. Wednesday evening, yeah. on Thursday afternoon, on Friday night. Say, I got the power of the anointing of God in my life. Well, I'm preaching better than you shouting. Yes, yes. Say, the anointing. I got favor, say favor, Amen. in that anointing. Amen. This bud, say this bud, this bud. is for you. Amen. The one I choose, I give to the anointing. You didn't choose me, I chose you. And you shall bear fruit, and your fruit shall remain in whatever you ask the Father. In my name, it shall be done. But all this is in the Ark of the Covenant. And what happened was, the Ark of the Covenant was in the hands of the enemy. I mean, you know, I mean, sometimes the enemy got what, got what we're supposed to have. They had the Ark of the Covenant in the hands of the enemy. And they had the Ark of the Covenant down there with Dagon. Their God was named Dagon. D-A-G-O-N or Dagon, right? And every time they got up the next morning, guess what Dagon was? It was a big old wooden, a big old stone statue. Every morning they got up, Dagon was head was on the floor. Because I'm going to say, come on, say, you can't take the things of this world and match it with the things of God. And finally, the Philistines said, we want this thing out of our, our place. They said, sit it on down, back to where it belongs. Come on, say, the anointing of God belongs in our house. Come on, say, belongs in my house. Say, the presence of God belongs in my house. The bread of God belongs in my house. Come on, the word of God belongs in my house. But while they was coming down and bringing the Ark of the Covenant back, the covenant almost slipped and fell. The Ark of the Covenant almost slipped and fell off the wagon. And when they almost slipped and fell off the wagon, what happened was, was that that Ark of the Covenant, somebody tried to keep it on the wagon, and when he touched the Ark of the Covenant, he died. Hmm. He said, well, Lord, they was trying to help. Why did he die? Let me tell you something. Say, God, God. don't need my help. Need oh, that'll preach right there. Hmm. Say, God, God doesn't need my help. Need my I said, I need God, I need but he God. don't need me. Don't need me. Oh, I know y'all don't like to hear that, though. I know you think you got it all together and you're the best thing God ever created. But God don't need us. We need him. Oh, you don't hear me. He said a favor of God. And what happened was, I believe that if that person would have took that, touched that Ark of the Covenant, that even God would have kept that Ark of the Covenant on that wagon. Do you believe that? God don't know how to take care of his own self. But he tried to keep it on the wagon and when he touched it, he fell. And David got scared of that thing. David said, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. David said, no, no. How many of you ever been a friend of God and the friend of God make you get afraid sometimes? Mm -hmm. yeah. Say, real people. Real people. I, it's not that you say that like I'm terrified and God about to take me out, but sometimes you see the awesomeness of God yeah. and the power of God, how great God is. Right. You say, wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I ready for the presence of God in my life? Can I, can, do, can, can, am I worthy of this? Am I worthy oh, of this in my, in my life? And David says, you know what? He said, uh-uh, uh-uh, don't let that come to my house because I might accidentally touch this thing. And I'm like that. I put words into it, but that's what David was thinking. David says, send that thing down to Obed-Edom house. And the Bible says, Obed-Edom, the Gentile, put that ark of the covenant in his house. And it was in his house for 90 days. It said 90 days. 90 days. And all those 90 days, those three months, guess what happened? Everything Obed-Edom touched, come on, say, it prospered. God blessed his house. How many know when the presence of God gets in your house, everything you touch is going to prosper? Right. So the presence of God presence in, my in my house. The favor of God in my house. Everything I touch is going to prosper. Do you believe that? Yeah. And David says, wait a minute, I'm the king. If I'm the king, why the favor down there in his house? Right. We ought to bring the favor down to my house. He says, they said, David, over at Eden having a good time down there. He got the president, he got the Ark of the Covenant, and everything, come on, that he touched it, is blessed. Mm -hmm. David says, I'm the king. And the tabernacle's with me. How many of you know we kings are priests right now? That David is a type and shadow of Christ, and then Christ is the firstborn of us. Yeah. That we all are kings and priests. Come on, say, I'm a priest. I'm a, priest. I'm a king. I'm a say, I'm royal. I'm royal. You don't believe that? Yeah. First Peter 2 and 9 says, we're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. God's own people to declare what? His praises. Say, I am, I am royal. royal. And the presence of God belongs in my, in my house. Yeah. David says, bring that Ark of Covenant down to my house. The Bible says the Ark of the Covenant moved six paces. David sacrificed some lambs and all kind of stuff. And the Ark of the Covenant moved some more. You know what David did? David got out of his clothes and started dancing. Say so he got in the underwear. Am I right? Mm 
Yeah. The Bible says he got in a linen ephod. You know what that is? It's in the underwear. He got in the underwear. All it was was just a covering over his private part. They said he was dancing. They dancing. He said he danced. The Bible said he danced with the spirit of the Lord. Because I'm going to say dance like David. Ah, dance. Oh, y'all hear me? Y'all sing the song really what it really means. Say dance. Say dance. See what we did? We let the world corrupt everything that belongs to God. Oh, y'all want to hear me. You go out to the club, so I go out to the club, and know all y'all be shh. I'm all right. Hey, hey, say hey. And then if you can't even give it nobody, just stand on the wall and be. Come on, I'm all right. Hey, and then you really get down there on the club and like those people doing on the on the trail rides, my friends. I see all the ladies been way over the guy. Oh, they be oh, I can't even show y'all that. I'm all right. I've been seeing on you know they be posting pictures. Oh, they be acting a fool. Oh, I say dancing. What did they do? Corrupt what God told you to do. Say God. Wow. Say to dance. Come on, say dance in the presence of God. See if you don't use it, the world takes it. Say dance like David. Dance. Ah. Oh. I don't know why you want to get off the wall, huh? That's what it say. <laughs> say get up and dance. Say get up and dance. Get up and dance. Say dance. But he was he was magnifying the presence of God. He was happy about the presence of God. Yeah. He was dancing. He was excited. He was jumping. He was shouting. He was doing his thing. And all the ladies were around him, and his wife was out the window and said, ah, 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 this ain't going to go, buddy. Because <laughs> she thought he was dancing for the ladies, but he was dancing for God. Oh, yeah. Say, dance. dance. Like David. Like David. Dance. dance. And then so when he got, when he, I beat the heart got down there, he gave everybody some food, so they had a party. Yeah. See, everybody home with all kinds of stuff, and he got back to the house, he said, you ain't going to be dancing like that. He said, I'm going to be undignified. Say, undignified. Yeah. Say, I got to get undignified. Yeah. Praise, say praise, praise for God. Oh, yeah. Why do you get undignified? Pray. Let yourself get in trouble. You're going to have an undignified cry. Yeah. Oh, Lord, come see about me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Come on, let yourself need some money. Say, so I got undignified praise yeah. in my body, yeah. in my mouth, in my legs. I'm going to dance and dance. I say, dance. Yeah. Don't wait till the music come on. They say, they say the music was playing and the organ comes and moving. So they were having a party. Say, party. party. Say, party. 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 I don't hear me. Say dance. dance. Say dance. 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 Say so that's some favor in this place. So I'm going to praise God like this. Say praise God. I, like I believe in the favor of God. It's all right. About 7,000 years later, the son of David, say the son of David, the king of kings and the lord of lords got ready to declare his kingdom. And he didn't come out like David, because see, when David came out, David would come out like he was a big old royal warrior. And that's why David was just down to the ephod of the living, because if he's going to put on top of that, his armor. He'll go fight after that. He'll, he'll worship a while, and he'll fight a while. When Jesus came, Jesus said, give me a coat, a coat of a donkey. He said, a coat of a donkey that had never been rolled before. And he put the coats on the back of the thing, and Jesus' legs dangling. He looking almost stupefied. Say stupefied. Do you understand what Jesus did? Jesus armored himself, belittled himself. He's coming like a king of peace, but his legs are dangling off the coat, going down the middle. And you know what the folk do? They break off the palm branches. And they wave, say wave. wave. They're prone, say, but I can't sell her, so I can't sell her. So all we do is say wave. wave. Say wave. wave. My hands. Wave. Say wave. wave. My hands. They say Hosanna, say Hosanna. Ah, he who saves uh, in the highest the son of David. Blessed he who comes uh, in the name, say the name, uh, of the Lord. Uh, they were magnifying Jesus because they knew Jesus was the king of kings, Lord of Lord, but they didn't know that Jesus was coming to die. Yes. Yeah. Because the same folk that had Hosanna a few days later, say they said crucify. Right, right. Pharisees, religious folk look around and say, you know what? There's too much noise up in here. Come on, say too much noise. Yeah. One of the best times I used to like to have church in real life was a few years ago we'd be in a hotel 
And the guy said, it's too much noise. <laughs> they said, it's too much noise. I said, I like that. When you have to tell me it's too much noise, that means I'm doing my thing. Yeah. I done paid you my money, <laughs> so you better let me get my two, three hours out, and it's going to be too much noise. <laughs> and then one time they moved over, and, and, and what happened is, and, and I'm about to cut this part out because I don't want to start no fighting on, on YouTube. <laughs> The Muslim people let us use one of the hotels they own. And we went in there to use, and because we talking about Jesus. Y'all didn't know that. That one Sunday you came out, it was, it was all businessmen. They have a whole lot of money. They had a, loose, they had a blue suit, navy blue pants on, they had light blue shirts. It was all sitting around in the lobby. Because they wonder what was doing up in there. And the guy said, you can't come back no more. It's too much noise. The owners say, it's eight owners. They say, it's too much noise. Because all we're doing was praising God. But it was praising Jesus. But it was too much noise. They paid all 75 hours in three hours. I'm going to praise. So I'm going to praise it. I ain't got no sense. Say, it's too much noise. Say, you ought to have an undignified praise. Do you understand? When they have a block party, what they do? They say, it's too much what? Noise. When the club... Come on, when the club, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, turn down the cop come around and say, it's time to shut out because it's too much what? No. Noise. The last call for uh, alcohol. Say, <laughs> so it's too much. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Say, real people. Say, real people. Oh, y'all act like y'all been in church all y'all life. I, I, I know some folk that do this kind of stuff. Say, too much. Somebody say, last call for alcohol. What do you mean? Say, but I'm drunk. Say, drunk in the spirit of God. On a dead Pentecost, they say, y'all don't have too much to drink. Say, no, this is new wine. Say, too much noise. They say, tell them, say, Jesus, make them be quiet. Make them be quiet. You done broke the city ordinance. It's too much noise coming right. down the street. And Jesus says, if they stop, the rocks, say the rocks, are going to cry out and praise him. He said, if the folk don't do it on their own, he said, I got to make the rocks start. Say, I don't want no rocks. Say, I don't want no rocks. Praise him in my place. I don't want no rocks crying out in my place. Because the rock don't need no favor, but I need the favor of God. So I'm going to praise him with undignified Oh, can I get undignified praise? Uh, can you tell somebody to say praise him? Yeah. Clap your hands. Uh, shout uh, with the voice of triumph. Uh, say praise him. Because uh, I got favor. Five, 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 folks, I got favor. 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 So I'm going to praise him. So I'm going to praise him. 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 I got, come on, so I got the favor of God. Put the stand on your feet and praise him. Put the stand on your feet and keep praising him. And magnify your name and lift him up. Say, so I got to praise him. I don't want no rocks right out of my place. Because the rock don't need no favor. But I need the favor. Of yeah. God, so I'm gonna praise Him. Say, blessed is He who comes, he comes in the name yeah. of the Lord. Yeah. Say, blessed is He. Yeah. Say, Hosanna. Say, yeah. save us. Yeah. Save us now. Say, sin now. Yeah. Sin now. Yeah. Prosperity. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's what it means. Where it come from? Psalms 118. Say, sin now. Sin now. Ah, say, praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Yeah. What you magnifying? Yeah. What you magnifying? What you magnifying? What you magnifying? What you, mean, you heard the word this morning. You heard it say, I can tell you, undignified. Undignified. I like that. That's in the Bible. See, the, the, the praise and worship leader got up in the path about we ought to get undignified. And now we, we too sophisticated, but no, the Bible says und say undignified. Say, forget about being sophisticated. Sophisticated don't help you when you're broke. Sophisticated don't help you when you're sick. Sophisticated don't help you when you when you're in trouble and gotta get out of trouble. Sophisticated don't help you when you need a spiritual blessing. Say, I got an undignified. Praise and I'm gonna praise him like I ain't got no sense up in here. Say praise him. Dance like David dance. Dance. Shout. Hosanna in the highest. You might be might be an unbeliever this morning. I don't believe there's an unbeliever in the house. But you might say, Pastor, I came to worship and I need a place of worship. I like what I've seen in real life church. I want to make this my church home.